Do you dream of working outdoors? You spend all weekend obsessively manicuring your own lawn, picking through flower beds hand, weeding and dreaming of zebra stripe in your yard. Would it not be great to get paid to this, and make the world all the more beautiful? Working in the original green industry could be a great move. How to start a landscaping business? Is the logical question I'm sure you have. The barrier to entry financially can be very small, compared to a lot of industries. All that is really needed is a pickup truck, mower and some other small tools for small lawn maintenance company. However should you decide to take on more complex design projects you may need a little more in the way of equipment. The landscaping business is very varied, you could have companies that specialize in basic lawn care to others that design and build garden installations, such as water fountains or pergolas. The vast majority of new landscaping businesses are formed by employees of existing landscape and businesses. This would be the best way to gain experience should you not already have any. Alternatively you could attend the Horticultural College that offers courses on how to start a landscaping business yourself. Pros The advantages of owning your own lawn care business are numerous. It's up to you how much money you make, want to make more, work more. In general you will be working around your neighborhood so your daily commute will be next to nothing. The benefits to your health are obvious, lungs full of fresh air sun on your back not to mention the workout you'll be getting every day not to mention very rarely working a rainy day ever again cons sounds good doesn't it and it is that's why starting a landscaping business is one of the most popular outdoor business ideas unfortunately this means increased competition and lower prices as many firms compete for business Remember those rainy days off we were just celebrating, well that means no money in the bank and all the work you will have to catch up on when it stop raining. You will also be working with some pretty dangerous equipment, and should you do fertilization and weed killing some pretty dangerous chemicals. Make sure you have insurance, to cover yourself and any workers. When you first start you will be doing most of the work by yourself if not all. For some people this can be difficult, especially if you used to having co-workers. It may be great at first but lifting equipment and long days in the sun will become physically exhausting very quickly. The one-man band is not for everyone. Winter in most parts of the country tend to be a real bad time in the landscaping business, you need to demonstrate great financial planning during the summer to get you through the lean winter ahead. What's the future like for landscaping businesses? Well the grass will always grow and the sky will always be blue, so make hay while you can. Okay so enough of the bad cliches that are very loosely relevant and crunch the brass tacks. There are approximately 25, ooh, lawn dash care slash landscaping business in the United States. Of course they are very varied in the services that they provide, and of course there are many businesses that operate for cash and don't report any income. Estimations are that approximately 1 in 5 of these providers are part-time or weekend warriors. Around a $75 billion dollar industry, there is certainly enough room for one or two more operators to squeeze in. Who are the customers? Your customers will come in general from the more affluent area neighborhoods. There is a sort of certain social stigma attached to having a neat and well-kept lawn. Many of them will not have the time nor the inclination required to achieve the desired look they covert. Many will just lack the basic skills. Don't limit yourself to those clients, take yourself outside of the box. One idea would be to contact real estate agents will be able to put you in contact with those buying property and those wishing to sell. Paying someone to fix up the yard on the house could add value to the selling price. Of course there are also larger commercial contracts. These accounts can take many days a month to service and are highly desirable due to the fact they will provide a somewhat stable and reliable income throughout the year. Potential commercial contracts may come from apartment complexes, shopping centers, golf courses or perhaps property managers. How much can I earn? 
As a one-man band you're really only limited to how much you can earn by how hard you wish to work and the jobs you can get. However that being said somewhere in the region of $30 $50,000 in the first year is a pretty safe estimate. Unfortunately it won't ever get much more than that as you're not leveraging your time. To increase your revenue you will need to hire employees and perhaps get back to some of the work you try to leave. In general by hiring an employee in the landscaping business you have the potential to increase revenue 33% of their hourly rate. Example. Steve works as a landscaper for you and is paid $15 hour, after all costs are calculated you should enjoy a benefit of around $5 hour. This of course is a very general and the actual figures can vary wildly, depending on many variables. Of course hiring employees has many benefits and many pitfalls, you should research them all thoroughly before hiring anyone. Still here? Okay good. Let's take a step-by-step -step approach from now on. Let's assume you have conducted your market research and it's a go. How to start a landscaping business. 1. Decide what service you will offer. What kind of landscaping will you offer? There are many different kinds. Most popular would be lawn mowing and maintenance followed by landscape design. 2. Price your service. For lawn mowing many stick to a price per square foot model. This is the industry standard and I strongly suggest you stick with it. On your pricing sheet includes a section for extra services, fertilizing etc. And a disclaimer for awkward cuts. Obviously your prices will be higher for difficult cuts. 3. Apply for local and state business licenses. You will need to hold business licenses for the areas you wish to work in. Every city and state has different requirements, but they are very easy and normally very cheap to get. For example a South Carolina state license is only $120 for the year. Be careful if you live on the border of two neighboring towns, that you have the correct licenses. Fines can be devastating, and in some cases involve jail time. 4. Purchase Equipment if you're already a lawn nut, you may have most of the equipment already at hand. If not I recommend checking out used equipment online. You should be able to find just about everything from vehicles to fertilizers. Even when you're up and running, I recommend at least once a week checking out Craigslist, you never know what you could find. 5. Obtain Liability Insurance your local chamber of commerce will be able to put you in touch with an insurance provider local to yourself. I always prefer going with a local guy, they know the area and will better be able to suggest what will work best for you. Also a little networking never hurt anyone. 6. Start advertising. In industries like the landscaping word of mouth is your lifeblood. People like to talk and brag, if you're doing a good job you will stay busy. That being said, I would recommend the following minimums, signage on your truck, yard signs and a well-made business card. Also a good and cost-effective way of getting your business out there is a bi-monthly leaflet drop from the post office. You can target the exact zip code you wish to grab some business from, even subsets of a zip code. Tip. A catchy name can often grab you business. A catch why name that makes someone chuckle when they first see it will put you in pole position when they need a lawn care service. Some funny ones I've seen, mow, ho, and blow lawn service, green, green, and greener the lawn firm or the lawn rangers. 7. Get your landscape on. Get mowing. Build your business and work on that hand.